What? All starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. Alright, what's happening everybody? We're back with a bit, a little bit of Sonic movie info about how the cinematic universe is going to be played out for the ongoing years. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this was posted earlier today and it's by IGN titled Sonic the Hedgehog movies won't follow the games in order so right off the bat if you um think about it so because a lot of people thought after this because it's right now we're at both a sonic 2 and sonic 3 era of sonic and i a lot of people am like myself we expected them to either transition into cd where we would get metal sonic and amy or will we get a go to adventure and have chaos so, let's read the article right here. So, right here it says, The Sonic movies won't follow, chrono won't follow the game's chronology in the future. And, let me see. Alright, so right here he says, It's not always going to be a linear progression of like, Oh, this was in Sonic 2, so it's going to be in the Sonic 2 film. Yeah, that makes sense because um, we, we have Son Knuckles right now, and he's not supposed to show up until the third one, so... It's going to be a little bit of a cherry picking, a little bit of a melting pot. There's so much great, inspiring imagery to pull from the 30 years of games. So if we didn't get it in one film, there's always the chance that we'll revisit it somewhere else. So let me see, there's more. I think it's teasing the film, and I can't say more than that, Fowler said. The character is teased. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but that definitely is something I'd very be excited about telling a story with. It's also exciting for the fans to not know what's going on and what's going to come in where. He said, rather than just knowing we're going down a checklist from A to B to C to D. As an example, Fowler noted that the new movie features the Labyrinth Zone. Oh, wait, it features the Labyrinth Zone? I didn't even realize that, because that's from Sonic 1, and that's where everyone developed the, uh, <laughs> the PTSD from being in water. Which, which is from the original Sonic the Hedgehog game rather than Sonic 2. Yeah, because it was in Sonic 1. But let's see here. I was still working my way through some of this iconic imagery that we weren't able to do in the first film. It was a more grounded story, he said. It was a road trip, so it would have been strange for them to find themselves in a labyrinth, but I always loved that visual, so we kind of brought it into this. Yeah, I feel that the way they handled the storyline for Sonic in the first one was way better of an introduction into this universe than having the whole story, because I'm pretty. it would have been really hard to include all of that mixed in but i think they did a good job just introducing sonic in general for the first movie because this is what the second one will do this will give us everything we want for a sonic movie right here so however the movie's key moments are directly pulled from sonic 2 the image of tails flying the tornado the biplane and delivering sonic into battle from the end of sonic 2 yep that is as iconic as it gets said fowler from the very days of planning the film it was like we've Guy and get to get to there. It's going to make fans go nuts. It's such a great image. The, the David and Goliath kind of image of that little biplane going up against a giant Death Egg robot. True, I see the imagery in that. The type of stuff, it felt cinematic, it felt huge. Right from the early days, we thought that should be part of the story. So let's see, is that it? Alright, so that's pretty much it in the article. Now, with this sentence here, it, it, it raises the question of Shadow might be the next one introduced because a lot of people thought that Metal Sonic was going to be introduced because if they were going to go by the order or not but seeing as they're not going to follow the order they might jump the gun and go straight to Shadow the Hedgehog because they've already introduced gun they've introduced gun if you see in the trailers we've seen shots of G.O.N. so we already have that part established for Shadow, so we'll have to see how they set him up. Personally, for me, I feel like I could have waited a bit longer for Shadow, because I, I Shadow Shadow's a big character. If you get him, everyone from the 2000s era is just gonna be straight up jump into a theater to see him, because every every everyone who played. Adventure 2 is going 
to just be hyped about this too to the extent because you get him and it's over then we've won they've won sega has won but for right now i i kind of wanted to wait a bit more because i don't want them to rush shadow i want them to take their time with it i want them to build up all the characters i want them to get all all properly introduced kind of like how they did with um tails and knuckles because they were teased in the first one with Tails being teased in the post credit scene, and we saw the Echidna tribe in the first one, so I want those to have been established and properly introduced before having a big character such as Shadow, because that was actually a problem I did have with the Mortal Kombat movie, if for those of you who saw it, because they had a bunch of big iconic characters, because they had Melina, they had Natara, who was a big 3D era character, and then they also had Goro, and all three of them were just underdeveloped, had not much lines, and were just beaten in just two, two or three minutes of the movie and just barely got any time to shine. So I just want them to probably handle the characters well and just give them the screen time and respect they deserve. Keep in mind, this can go either way, because we can either have Shadow, we can have Metal Sonic, we can have Chaos, or, even better, we can have Big the Cat. Yeah, let's get Big the Cat in this cinematic universe, huh? this guy stinks! But yeah, we are just one week away from this movie, unless you're in the UK and you get to see it this Friday, and any of you UK watchers watching, if you spoil the movie for anyone, not me, not me, but anyone at all, time to destroy the br But on a serious note, do, do not spoil it, do your best. I had to, I, you have to hold it in no matter what. Yeah, I, everyone had to do it for Spider-Man No Way Home, and you got to do it now. They even made a video just to make sure no one spoils it, right here, you can click it. Unless YouTube doesn't allow me to put links for this video. But yep, that's going to be it, everybody. We are just getting so close to this movie. This is easily one of my most anticipated movies of the whole decade. And I'm looking forward to seeing this with my boys on early, early release day. So be sure to tune in for more content. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. I shall see y'all later. Peace.